Hello and welcome to the File Center Portal tutorial series. In this video series, we're going to be covering uh, how to share documents via the client portal. Now, in this particular video, we will go over the basics of sharing files. Now, when it comes to sharing files, there are many ways that we can consider. Within File Center or any other system that we might be using, we can share files by printing out the file and preparing it for a client to pick up. Uh, we can also mail it. We can send out the files by email using the standard method of email or even using a secure PDF method. Uh, you may even still fax documents to people, which you can do by printing to fax. Now, some files are just plain documents and others contain sensitive information. Now, what we do know is that some methods are more secure than others, uh, and that's why we look at client portals. Now, when we look at email, using the secure PDF method is a great method to use. And in most cases, users will most likely attach the documents using the secure PDF, apply a password, and then include the password in the same email that the, the document is attached to, which doesn't really create a very secure way of uh, sending these files. The other uh, big issue with emailing files is that in most cases, uh, most email services have a limitation on how large the files can be or how large the full email would be. And so you start reaching some limitations there. Now when we look at mailing files, you know, we actually look in the the world of technology we can service clients that reside in any other state or even another country and so printing files is a method that is still practiced today but it can be incredibly inefficient and if you're sending those files via the postal service your client or even yourself may never even receive them um, the, the, the postal service has actually reported that they deliver around 509 million pieces of mail each day. Now what is insane here is that 1.7 percent of mail is either lost or damaged. And so what we're looking at is around 8.7 million letters each day that are lost or damaged. So that's a lot of information that could be lost in the mail. Now when we talk about client portals we're looking at a secure method of transferring files to clients, uh, also the secure method for clients transferring files to you. Uh, there's email notifications that can go both ways between either you or your client. So when, when a document is uploaded, uh, each of you can get notified via email when that is done. Uh, it also allows for larger files to be uploaded. Uh, in some cases, uh, client portals, they don't have any limitations on the file size. Some are out there that actually limit them to be one gigabyte in file size for each document. Um, now, there's also remote access if, ne if, if necessary, where you can log in and access a document anytime uh, via a web browser. But this will also save you an incredible amount of time and money. You know, and if you've attended any conferences or continuing education seminars, the term client portals have probably come up on numerous occasions. And because we want to provide our clients with software that will continue to create efficiency with your home or office, we've actually created a simple yet secure way of sharing files through a client portal, and we called it File Center Portal. Now, the File Center portal is completely integrated with the File Center document management. Uh, you can quickly send and receive files from clients and download them directly to File Center. Uh, we have the ability to ha allow you to have unlimited client portals no matter which plan that you sign up for. And the data is secure both in transfer and in, tra you know, both uh, on transit and at rest, meaning uh, when you send the files, that they're secure, and then also when they're sitting on the servers, um, they're also uh, secure there as well. Now, the File Center portal will allow you to create this secure portal access point for each of your clients. 
in which you can share files with your clients and your clients can then upload and share files with you. And sharing a file is very simple to do. So let's go ahead and dive in and show you just how easy that is. Now, as I mentioned before, sharing a file with a client or downloading a file a client has uploaded to you is very simple to do within the File Center system. And this is because File Center and the File Center portal are completely integrated together. When you want to share a file with a client, you're going to simply come up and click on the client portal icon on the menu bar. This is going to be looking very similar to the split view feature that's found inside of File Center. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to browse your cabinet for your client and the location of the file that you want to send. So if the client has requested a copy of a tax return for this example, we can click on the tax return. Once we have navigated to the client folder or the portal folders for, the, for that particular client, you'll then be able to come in and click on to portal. What that's going to do is it's going to upload the tax return. You'll now see that that file is available in the client portal for your client. Now in return, if the client has uploaded, in this case, in this example, a copy of their supporting documents, you can come in and click on the supporting documents and navigate to the location that you need to store it inside of the document management portion and then click on to computer and that will download it into the folder where it belongs. That's how quick and easy this can be to send or receive documents from a client. Now that completes this video and to learn more about how all this works be sure to catch the other videos in the File Center Portal series.